In the world of mega constructions, where timelines often stretch across decades, the Sagrada Familia stands as a striking anomaly. While the average large-scale project may take years, if not decades, to materialise, this architectural marvel defies convention. With its completion date finally set for 2026, Antoni Gaudi's magnum opus has been under construction for over a century. Today, we're diving into everything you need to know about one of the world's most iconic architectural wonders, the Sagrada Familia. From the final finishing date, to its fascinating history, to its awe-inspiring design, join us as we explore every facet of this masterpiece by Antoni Gaudi. Stick around to the end when we reveal some things you never knew about the Sagrada Familia. But before we begin, please don't wait over 100 years to subscribe to our channel. After a long, long wait, it was just announced that the Sagrada Familia will finally finish construction in 2026. The completion of Sagrada Familia's primary construction phases is anticipated to coincide with the centenary anniversary of Antonio Gaudi's passing. However, will the construction really finish in 2026? Some speculate this projected timeline doesn't consider that it will take till after 2030 to add the decorative details. So, it looks like we're going to have two completion dates. One to coincide with Gaudi's 100th anniversary of his death, and then another completion date in about 2030, when everything will finally be finished, including all the bells and whistles. But first, let's take a look at the history of Sagrada Familia. Let's start with the name. The Basilica e Temple Expiatori della Sagrada Familia is the full name, which means the Expiatori Temple of the Sacred Family. However, most people choose to go with the shorter and easier to say Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia is classed as a basilica, but what actually is a basilica? Is it a church or is it a cathedral? Well, imagine a basilica is like a big special church. It's designed in a certain way, in the shape of a rectangle with a big open space called the nave, where people sit during church services. On the sides there are aisles, and up front there's a special rounded area called the apse, where the altar is. So, the Sagrada Familia is called a basilica because it's built like this special kind of church. It's not a cathedral because it's not the main church for a bishop. It's just a really big and important basilica. This magnificent basilica was largely designed by the renowned Catalan architect Antonio Gaudi who devoted over four decades to its creation. The construction of the Sagrada Familia started in 1882 and Gaudi became involved in the project in 1883, adding his distinctive style. The construction started on August 25th, 1883, more than a year after the cornerstone laying ceremony on March 19th, 1882. The project was initially led by architect Francisco de Paula de Villar, who envisioned it in a classic Gothic style. His plans included a three-nave church with features like blister windows, exterior buttresses and a tall needle-like spire, which are all common in Gothic architecture. However, in 1883 the responsibility of the work was given to Antonio Gaudi, who was only 31 years old at the time. Gaudi made significant alterations to the original project and embarked on constructing his most renowned masterpiece. This iconic work showcased his distinctive style, gained him global recognition, and solidified his reputation as a master of modern architecture. Throughout his tenure on the project until his passing in 1926, Gaudi dedicated himself to constructing this extraordinary temple with the vision of creating a universal masterpiece that would encompass all Christian symbols. The Sagrada Familia is a temple built to commemorate the reparation of sins made against God or the laws of the Church. The work is funded solely through donations from visitors and the public, which is why its construction progress has been slow. Gaudi once expressed that the Sagrada Familia is a reflection of the people who built it. It is a task that relies on divine guidance and the choices made by individuals. 
The Sagrada Familia is a captivating and intricate structure that showcases Gaudi's brilliance and spiritual vision. The design includes 18 towers, symbolizing various important figures from Christianity. The towers are organized in a pyramid-like structure, with the tallest tower being the Tower of Jesus. It will be adorned with a cross on its pinnacle and the inscription, Jesus Christus Rex, Jesus Christ King, in four different languages. The church features three magnificent facades, each showcasing a distinct phase of Jesus' life, the Nativity, the Passion, and the Glory. The Nativity facade was the first to be constructed and the only one that Gaudi witnessed in its finished state. The Nativity facade is orientated towards the east, symbolizing the direction of the sunrise. It beautifully commemorates the miraculous birth and early years of Jesus. The artwork showcases scenes from the Annunciation, the Adoration of the Magi, the Flight to Egypt, and the Massacre of the Innocents. Additionally, there are numerous sculptures of animals, plants and angels, along with the Tree of Life, that symbolize the genealogy of Jesus. The Passion Facade was constructed between 1954 and 1976, based on the designs and plaster models created by Gaudi. This artwork is orientated towards the West, capturing the beauty of the sunset while portraying the profound story of Jesus' suffering and death. It has a minimalist and modern design, with clean lines and simple shapes which contrasts with the Nativity facade. The facade features depictions of significant events from the life of Jesus, including the Last Supper, the Kiss of Judas, the Trial of Jesus, the Crucifixion and the Burial. Additionally, there are sculptures depicting the Apostles, soldiers and the women of Jerusalem and figures representing faith, hope and charity. The Glory Facade is currently being constructed and is the largest and most ambitious one. It is orientated towards the South, symbolizing the ultimate fate of humanity, the resurrection, the judgment and the glory of God. The design will feature seven spacious doors, each representing the seven deadly sins and virtues. Additionally, the artwork will showcase depictions of heaven, hell and purgatory. There will also be sculptures depicting the Holy Trinity, the Virgin Mary, various saints and the faithful. The interior of Sagrada Familia is just as impressive and filled with symbolism. The architectural design features a Latin cross plan consisting of five naves and a transept. The height of the main nave is 60 meters, while the side nave stands at 30 meters. The ceiling is held up by 52 columns symbolizing the weeks of the year, and the vaults are adorned with stars, flowers and geometric designs. The distinctive columns have been crafted to mimic trees, resulting in a captivating ambience reminiscent of the Garden of Eden. The columns extend upwards, creating a canopy that gently diffuses the light streaming in through the stained glass windows. The windows are organized by color, starting with the cooler tones in the east and transitioning to warmer tones in the west. This arrangement creates a beautiful chromatic effect that shifts as the day progresses. The altar is positioned in the middle of the transept, beneath a baldachin symbolizing the Holy Spirit. There is a large crucifix above the altar, with a figure of Jesus that appears to be floating in the air. The crucifix is encircled by a hyperboloid structure, representing the divine light. There's a large organ behind the altar, featuring four keyboards and over 1,400 pipes. The Sagrada Familia also features a museum, conveniently situated in the crypt and the apse. This is an excellent resource for gaining knowledge about the church's history, design and construction. Visitors have the opportunity to view authentic drawings, models and photographs of Gaudi and his collaborators. Reflecting on recent milestones, Sagrada Familia's evolution is evident. From the inauguration of the Virgin Mary Tower in 2021 to the completion of the Evangelist Towers in 2023, each achievement signifies a step closer to Gaudi's envisioned masterpiece. 
Notably, in November 2023, the Sagrada Familia inaugurated the Four Towers of the Evangelists in Barcelona, standing at 135 meters tall, surrounding the Tower of Jesus Christ. Together with the Tower of the Virgin Mary, five of the six central towers have been completed. The final six towers are currently under construction, including the 170 meter high central spire which on completion will make Sagrada Familia the tallest church in the world, while the central tower of Jesus Christ is scheduled for completion in 2026. Construction on Sagrada Familia is not funded by any government or official church sources. It received the name Expiatory Temple because the government or the church did not support the building. The initial stages were funded by private patrons. Money generated from ticket sales by tourists is now utilized to fund the necessary work, and contributions from private individuals are also welcomed. Approximately, the 25 million euros a year budget is entirely obtained through entrance tickets to the church and private donations. In October 2018, the trustees of the Sagrada Familia reached an agreement to pay city authorities 36 million euros for building permit, marking the end of 136 years of unlicensed construction. The majority of those funds will be allocated towards enhancing the connectivity between the church and the Barcelona Metro. Of course, we all know Sagrada Familia and you may have known most of what I've just told you. Or perhaps I missed something important? If I did, please let me know in the comments. Just to finish with, I find seven lesser known interesting facts that I didn't know about the Sagrada Familia. Number seven, Gaudi is buried there. La Sagrada Familia houses the tomb of Antonio Gaudi, who tragically passed away shortly after being struck by a tram. You can easily visit the tomb by going to the lower level of the building. The tomb is encircled by four chapels, each devoted to a distinct character. The tomb of Gaudi is located in a chapel dedicated to the El Carmen Virgin. Number 6. It's no longer a cathedral. At the start of the construction of Sagrada Familia, it was widely recognized as a straightforward Roman Catholic church. Afterward, it was given the status of a cathedral, and in 2010, Pope Benedict proclaimed it a basilica. For those who may not be well versed in this topic, a cathedral serves as the official residence of a bishop, making it a highly esteemed structure. Number five, its height is remarkable. When the Sagrada Familia is finished, it will be the world's tallest place of worship. The tallest tower in the center will be 170 meters. Gaudi, for all his strength, thought that nothing created by humans could ever surpass the creations of God. The fact that the final height will be one meter lower than Barcelona's highest point, Mont Juic, is not a coincidence. Number four, the intricate symbolism. Every element of Gaudi's architecture is rife with symbolism. There are two other symbols to be aware of in addition to the religious ones. First of all, the interior pillars are shaped like trees and they appear to change shape constantly when you look up at them. The earth and the sea are symbolized by a turtle and a tortoise that are holding up these pillars. Number three, there used to be a school here. In the initial stages of the Sagrada Familia's construction, Gaudi constructed a school on the premises known as the Sagrada Familia Schools Building. The school was constructed to cater to the children of the hardworking builders who dedicated their time and effort to create one of the most remarkable structures in Europe. The school, which was designed in 1909, is currently being used as an exhibition space for the Sagrada Familia. Number two, it's been under construction for over a century. The construction of the Sagrada Familia project started in 1882. By the time Gaudi passed away in 1926, only a quarter of the basilica had been finished. Despite Gaudi's dedicated efforts in his final years, it was evident that the project would not be completed in his lifetime. 
it is expected that this year marks the final stage of construction and it is estimated to be completed by 2026. Number 1. Each of the 18 towers is important. La Sagrada Familia will have 18 towers when it's finished. 12 of the towers will stand for the Apostles, 4 for the Evangelists, 1 for the Virgin Mary, and of course the final tower, the tallest one in the centre, will symbolise Jesus Christ. At this moment, 12 out of the 18 are complete. And there we have it folks. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the Sagrada Familia. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.